This is Kabul. The sun is setting after a long day in the capital of Afghanistan. The muezzin is calling the people to prayer. And I'm here in Kabul to cover the first anniversary of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, which took power last year on the 15th of August on India's Independence Day. The Taliban walked into Kabul without firing a shot. This August 15, as India celebrates 75 years of its independence, the Islamic Emirate will celebrate one year in power, both milestones for both nations. But what indeed has changed over the last one year here in Kabul and, and across all of Afghanistan? What does it mean for the people? What are their dreams, their aspirations? Do they miss the former governments of President Hamid Karzai and his successor Ashraf Ghani, who left actually without so much as a goodbye to his people, running away, fleeing as the Taliban took power uh, in the capital. So what does the Islamic Emirate mean for the people of Afghanistan? Join me as I try and look at all these issues, all the problems, the enigma that is the Islamic Emirate. For now, this is Jyoti Balhotra for The Print in Afghanistan.